Shema Yashralu, Yahweh, Allah Yahweh, Yahweh, Shema Yashralu, Yahweh, Allah Yahweh, Yahweh, Shema Yashralu, Yahweh, Allah Yahweh, Yahweh, Hear, O Israel, our God is one. Our power is one power, okay? To you Israelites, which today consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You are the true Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible, okay? The 12 sons of Jacob that have been scattered abroad, all right? This world is your captivity, our captivity. Okay? But in due season, we will be ruling again. And we'll be ruling forever. Whether the people want to believe it or not. Alright? Call Allah Yimla, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhat Kudash, Mashanah Kabawadim, Lahazakwanim, Shaul Gadawal Rakhat, Shalom, Lahabakayim, Akim, Wakwatim, Shalom Ahawa Bawarakim. That is to say, from the Paleo Hebrew to the English, all praises to the Heavenly Father Yahweh, who the world really calls God, whose name means He is or He exists. Ba'ashim means in the name. Yahweh says the name of the Son, who the world really calls Jesus Christ, whose name means He deliver and He salvation. Ba'ashim Rakhakwadash means in the name Holy Spirit, which is the spirit of truth that we've been blessed with in order to come out and push this word with all truth and sincerity. Okay? Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone, all right? The elder bishops, all right? And the apostles who rule well for teaching brothers this truth, okay? By way of the Holy Spirit, okay? Who encourage brothers week in and week out to go out and prophesy, to teach the word, to be instant, in season and out of season, all right? By teaching us Okay, the ways of this word, you know, once again with the Holy Spirit and by reason of much labor and experience, we salute them. All right, peace to the election brothers and sisters, to your brothers who go out diligently, all right, who make videos, all right, for those brothers preparing to go out, okay, and to your few sincere sisters who hearken as well, we salute you, peace, love, and blessings. Shalom, Mahabwa, Babarakim. All right, out here another week, man. And this weather is flip-flop as hell, man. All right? Last week, you wearing a thick hoodie or a jacket. Now this week, you out in t-shirts and shorts, man. All right? The world is out of course. The world is way out of course, man. Because of these damn devils. These elites. All right? These red people. The Illuminati. The world is all out of whack, man. All right? Here it is. We're moving into winter. Okay? And it's like 70 something degrees out here, man. This is bugged out. You know? And such are the people, man. All right, but of course the people are bugged out. Of course the people, okay, are doing more and more wickedness every day. All right? Because the ones who control the society, who, who's ruling over the society, is doing wickedness every single day, man. All right? Doing more and more wickedness every day. Strategizing. Trying to conjure up new ways to perform any type of wicked, detestable act. Any type of abomination, man. All right? This is why you should want out. If you are a so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, if your spirit resonates with the people of the Bible, okay, with the curses of the Bible, with the blessings, okay, as such, you should want out of this place immediately, man, because this place is naturally hell for you jakes, man. That's why the scriptures say what? Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. For it is greatly polluted. And it shall destroy you even with the sword destruction, Jake. All right? From the physical to the mental to the spiritual, this place has been doing nothing but destroying us, man. Okay? This is why Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah commanded brothers to come out and teach. Like he was out teaching, man. You know? 
We're supposed to be out making our calling and election sure. We don't want this place to go on no more, man. There's nothing here for you, Jake. You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know? The 17 and 1800s wasn't too long ago, Jake. Where they was lynching us, all right? Ravishing our men, women, and children. Feeding us to alligators. It wasn't that long ago, man, and swine. It wasn't that long ago, bro, and sis. <laughs> It was not that long ago. All right? But le let Esau tell it, every man is born equal. Everybody is born equal. Let Esau tell it, okay? Everybody was born under the same circumstances, man. Prove it. All right? But you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, given our time here, you, be, you become more and more complacent. You become more and more relaxed, all right, through social programming, all right, propaganda, bandwagon. You know, you subscribing to your enemy. You're, you're trusting your enemy more and more, all right, which the scriptures specifically tell us not to do. We're not supposed to trust our enemies, man, all right, which in this case is Esau Edom, the red people who call themselves white. All right, starting with these top globalist elites. All right? And what? The Heavenly Father, by way of the Son, is going to put these globalist elites, all right, and these Illuminati, all right? The Lord is going to put them in bondage for their crimes against humanity, more particularly to the nation of Israel, the people on the sign. All right? Very soon, they're going to be put into bondage, you know? But that's why we are telling you, Jakes, that you need to wake the hell up, man. All right? Stop calling yourself black. Stop calling yourself Indian. Stop calling yourself Hispanic or Latin. Those are all bow words and power words that they gave unto us, man. But we don't go back to that. What the hell is a black person? Don't you know that the word black is synonymous with death, destruction, and ignorance, man? We can't be black people. That doesn't make any sense. You know what I realized, bro? What's that? We all just Say that again? We all just yeah, but there's a separation in the people. Did you know that? I mean, yeah, yeah, no, don't get me wrong. We are people. I hear you. We are all people, you know, but bro, there's a separation in the people. I've been trying to find, I'm going to leave it like this, the whole Christian path and all that, the whole half on vibes, the whole Constantine and all this shit. I can put it the ground this way, bro. Most of the most of the people that come to the children of Israel said you have more than two wives, the son that's hated, the second son is supposed to get the double inheritance. Where did we come with this doctrine they were supposed to have one? They said that the law came to Moses, but God showed his unfailing love and faithfulness to Jesus Christ. No one has seen God except the unique one who is himself God. He has revealed God to us. You go to Deuteronomy, no, you go you go back to the Old Testament, it shows that when Abraham, when Abraham and the elders went up on the mountain, they ate in front of a God's presence. Look at all these fucking discrepancies in the Bible. I'm telling my fucking pastor this shit. We know, like, nobody fucking knows, bro. You know El Sheol, Sheol, Gehenna, when they translated in Greek, that shit's a physical location underneath the ground, bro. There's angels down there, there's demons down there, as above as below. This shit, whatever you want, you want to go to the Greek, you want to go when they translate it to Greek, seven days, set two again, and all that shit. I know all that shit, bro. All right, like, so, you know so what, 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 what are you getting at? I'm saying that they go, at the end of the day, nobody knows. All this shit, no, no book is going to tell me what relationship I have to have with God. Well, don't don't you read books yourself? Yeah, I read, mean, bro. I'm very studious, bro. All right, so, so, so books, scrolls, or however you want to call them, they are important, okay? But it's, it's all about taking the meat off the boat. Ultimately, you got to have the spirit in order to discern, you know, what's within this book. Because spirit, this, this is, they don't know, that's not true. We all don't have the spirit. Only the children of Israel can have the Holy Spirit. But not even all of our people is going to receive the Holy Spirit yeah. in order to understand. What did he say? All right, let's go. What do you tell Abraham when he left the Earl Chaldees, Nubia, and he went to Canaan? He told Abraham, I'm gonna make your descendants scattered across all the nations. They're gonna be numerous as the dust. Yeah, did that not all happen to so, us? Did yes, that not right? happen to us? What do you mean? So the spirit, you saying somebody who's like this, who's like this? I'm saying, but what can't have the spirit, bro? I'm saying, don't you see how they do the same thing that me and you doing with this with with this dogma shit? Uh -huh. This dogma, my nigga. All right, but but you just you just said right because you just yeah. you just you just said what that the children that were scattered right yeah which is the, the children of Israel yeah. pursuant to Deuteronomy the twenty eighth chapter 
that actually happened. That that all the slavery, everything written in that chapter. So you're telling me that if, I'm trying to see what you're getting at. Because I'm just, I get the gist. I'm very cognitive, bro. Because uh -huh. I see brothers like you out here, and they, and they really, I'm not saying the other, but I'm saying I can still go up to a white woman, uh -huh. and we're gonna make a baby. So you saying that that baby or well, that woman, white woman, don't got the Holy Spirit, but I got the Holy Spirit. Of, don't you see? We doing the same shit as them, bro. And at the end of the day, what, what the hell? How, is the Holy how Spirit? What does Jesus say? So you believe in Jesus? Because because what they because they taught us the Bible by reason of, of malice. All right, they taught us lies from the Bible. They didn't tell us that we was the children of Israel. That's why they put all of these negative connotations in these Bible words and Proverbs on us. What is what I'm saying? You know, when they came, you know, you know about David. So you know when the Pharisees came to Jesus, they asked him, they asked him, who, who was David talking about when he said, your Lord is my Lord, sit, sit at my right hand, I'm going to make your enemies my footstool. Yeah. He's like, how is, he going to, how is he saying that I'm his son if he's calling me Lord? Mm -hmm. But he says, yes, you all are all gods, but you're going to all fall like the princes, bro. Yeah, okay, so, so, so now what does the word God mean? God is just, God is just beauty, bro. God is just, so the word, the word God means power. We made power. these words. We use words to articulate our experience, bro. Uh -huh. So God, what you want to call it, Elohim, 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 in Hebrew also means spirits, bro. They have spirits. They have had spirits. They have, bro. Elohim, oh, Elohim, has, as you said, it means, it means God, it means right? Spirit. Right, so it means, spirit, in the word God the means etymology power. For spirit, but we're going off English, so this linguistic means breathe. It's a bastard It, it literally means breathe. So when you get into translations, all that shit, you can circumvent all that shit. Just look at the gist of this shit. All right, I, so I'll tell you what, I'll bring out this scripture, right? Because you, you said we could all have the Holy Spirit, which is not true. So what did Jesus so, say? Let, me, before he oh, let, let, let me get this. Let, let the scripture speak, right? This is the book of John, chapter 14, verse 17. It says, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot, cannot receive, receive. Him not, but it knoweth him, but you know him. Because, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye you know him, for he dwelleth like, with you. He was talking and to shall be in you. Okay. To All right, but the disciples. Okay, and what? You don't think the disciples are back today? I'm saying so much. Listen, how are we supposed to interpret that? He's talking, oh, he's talking to all of us. It's like in 1 Peter 1 8 when it says, You love him, though you've not seen him. Though you've not seen him, you rejoice with inexpressible joy knowing that God has sent Christ. You know what I'm saying? We like, people take these and like, but he was like when he gave the parable of the sower. Uh -huh. So a farmer went out to plant a seed. As he scattered across the field, some seed fell on the footpath where the birds ate it. But I'm saying other seed fell among the rocks where it grew, but the plant soon withered and died for a lack of moisture. Other seed fell among the fertile soil of uh, the plant, uh, the thorns. But what I'm saying, this down the third, we saying so. What, what are you getting at? Well, what, what he is saying, no, what he is saying is that the word, Jesus Christ is the eternal word. We go to John, and the word became flesh, this down the third, supposedly uh -huh. he's supposed to say. And that the word, he always prophesied that in the Old Testament he was concealed. And then when he's saying, and it was, it was prophesied in John that like he's going to come amongst his own and they're going to receive him not. I'm saying he's like I'm right, here the whole time. It's like, what? And that's the thing. Yeah, you know, who the world calls Jesus Christ is here right. He's here right now in the spirit. Yeah, he's, he's spirit. here right here in the spirit. He in spirit. And, 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 he says two or three in my spirit. He's, yeah. he's, he's giving. He's giving the ones who follow him in, in the past, right? Who came back today? All right. He's giving them the spirit of. of he's giving them the Holy Spirit in order to understand. So you're saying Jesus is omnipresent. Like God, because how is he supposed yeah, to see yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, right yeah. You can say I'm the so yeah. present, as in he's in this book right now. I'm the present means everybody. Well, this is these are the words of the heavenly Father and the Son. These are the words of our forefathers. Okay. So yeah, he is omnipresent. But when he says, so well, what, what about when he said, none of none of what, what I do comes from me. It comes from the Father. All these miracles. He said, anyone who believes me in the miracles that I do, that's true. It does come from the Father. Many miracles he will do the next. That's yes, fact, bro. yes. So how is he saying? He said, but how is he saying that he's not equal with God? I'm trying to say, I don't want to say He's oh, not. I, how, how can the Son of God be equal with God? What, because that, that, he was there in the Because he was in there in the beginning. That doesn't he make said, it he equal. even said that the Pharisees even came in. They're on the same accord. Bro, when they, they said the in the accord. beginning that all things were made through him and without him nothing was made, bro. Go to John. That's like in John 2, bro. He was in there in the, in the present. He was in the beginning, yeah. But I'm trying to say, but when they say, like, yo, let anyone who use the name of Christ depart from iniquity, repentance, sanctification, glorification, we're never going to ever. So I'm, not, I'm tired of people telling me. I have to meet a certain mark. I have to meet. I have to stop indoctrinating me with this sin thing. When when they was in when the Babylonians took them and they was in captivity, bro. There was a, there was a Babylonian god named Sin, bro. All of this hammer rabbi. You go to hammer rabbi when they thought these code of ethics that they was indoctrinating people with. Uh -huh. The Bible Greek is, is a compilation of books. That's what the animal. It's a compilation. All right, so of books, so you saying the Bible just like any it's other? It's not book. false. It's not false. We do wrestle against flesh and blood and principalities and all that. That, it is true to it. I'm not going to... It is true. Okay. Like, Revelation, like, like, uh, was about to not be in the Because I got a lesson. I want, you to, I want you to help me understand, you know, what angle you're coming from. What angle I'm coming from yeah. is that it's collective. You know what a collective is? 
a what? Yeah, a collective it means it's derived from different sources. Uh -huh. It's derived when they search, they first so, start so Christians in. This is a fact. There's other sources you can use to corroborate it that's not in this. This is new translation. This is translation King James. Who, who the hell is King James? Who the hell is who the hell is uh, Paul? King James was a man that actually existed. Yeah, he asked the person, but like Paul is the same person that says to go. I don't. I, I I do. I do what I don't want to do. He's like, what a wretched sinner yeah, I am. The, the, what the a wretched sinner. What a wretched, wretched sinner. I do. What I, I know that Christ is. Oh, wretched man that I sin. am. Yeah. I still sin. But he says, yo, I will wash your sins, your transgressions, clean as snow. He's like, I will forgive you of your sins and remember them no more. So what? It's rhetorical and it's redundant for me to keep on asking forgiveness every time I do something that's. That's not. I'm saying. Not it's not redundant. No, no, it that, is. no. That, because you're seeking forgiveness. If I no, make that declaration and proclamation out of my mouth, you're seeking supplication. You're seeking. You're like you're, you're, you're trying to get in good graces with the Most High. We should be doing that all the time. You should be doing that every day. Yeah. Our people, we we ought to be praying every single day because we have access to the Father through the Son. By reason of the Son, we have access. Yeah. To the we ought to be praising every day. But you got to know who you're praying to. So. When and you, now, and you know, the saying, only people who can pray is the children I'm of saying, Israel. I'm saying, what's the concubine? You know the concubine. What's the concubine? What's the concubine? What do you mean? What are you going at now? No, because I'm looking at what, what this. Don't you see how you know what a canon? This is a canon. What the what the priestly school, the Catholics, and Catholic, they put it into canon, which was which they 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 codified as what is this is uh spiritually pleasing, which which would be edifying to people. And they took certain canon out. You can even read in James, which is Jesus' brother, how he prophesied about Enoch and said Enoch was going to come. They say Enoch is not legitimate. They say Enoch is not legitimate because it was written before the flood. The Ethiopian Orthodox Church, they have Enoch. They, 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 they go with the death and it's found in Enoch. But Enoch, basically the angels that came and taught us magic and all that, yeah. they made a prayer of supplication to Enoch saying that God, there is somewhere, there is somewhere in one of the realms when the third heavens or something, he put them there into the day of judgment. That's what it says when, when we would judge the angels and all that. That's what it's, that's what it's talking about, bro. Woo, we're going to take that out. No, no, it's too much. But so you see what they're doing? This is, so you got to go deeper, bro. It's like, you gotta, yes, we are black people, but when we tell the white person, they're going to be like, what are you talking about? You can't come like that, bro. Because they're people too. We can make a baby. We, we all people. I'll, I'll tell you what, brother, because I, I got to go into my lesson. I, I hear what you're saying, bro. bro. You know? Go ahead, fin finish here. You're not too hard, man. That's that's what's up. You know, I, I'm up here next Saturday, yeah, man. Lord's willing. Yeah, Lord's willing. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah. All right. Going back into the lesson. All right. What I was going into, a lot of you Jakes, a lot of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans out here starting to become way too complacent, more and more complacent, man. All right, trusting in the ways of this society. You know? Trusting in the elements thereof. And once again, this place is not for us. It was built to condemn us. It was built to destroy us, man. All right? Psychologically, spiritually, physically, you know? Jake is through so out here, man. Jake is all the way through out here. All right? This is why we ought to be out teaching the word, man, in all truth and sincerity. All right? Why is that? Because the majority of our people... Are in, a, in, are in a darkened state of mind. They're in that black state of mind, man. Okay, representing ignorance, you know? But let me go ahead and start off with this. In the book of Matthew, chapter 22, verse 1, it says, And Yahweh shall answer and spake unto them again by parables, and said, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king, which made a marriage for his son, and sent forth his servants to call them that were bidden to the wedding, and they would not come. Again, he sent forth other servants, saying, Tell them which are bidden, Behold, I have prepared my dinner. My oxen and my fatlings are killed, and all things are ready. Come unto the marriage. But they made light of it, and went their ways, one to his farm, another to his merchandise. And the remnant took his servants and entreated them spitefully and slew them. But when the king heard thereof, he was wroth, and he sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burnt up their city. Then said he to his servants, the wedding is ready, but they which were bidden were not worthy. Okay? And the ones who are, the ones who are not worthy, okay, is you, you, you other Israelites, all right, you, you, you Jakes who know that you're Israelites, who know the names of the Heavenly Father, but you're not teaching according to the one and true doctrine, man. All right, you are the servants who are not worthy to take part, all right, in, in, the, uh, in the marriage ceremony, man. 
okay, to take part in that party, you know? It says, then he said to his servants, the wedding is ready, but they which were bidden were not worthy. It says, go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find bid to the marriage. Okay, so that means what? Go out to the other people, man. Go out to the ones who've been, you know, psychologically and spiritually trodden down by the ways of this world, man, by the ways of this society, okay? Go out to the highways and the hedges and, and teach those, man, okay? Talk to the publicans, talk to the sinners, all right? Talk to the homeless, man, all right? Talk to the, the, the harlots and the prostitutes, all right? The ones who are spiritually trodden down, okay? Go, go talk to them, you know? And go tell them, well, I'm about to get into it, all right? But, but basically bid them to the marriage, man, all right? Invite them in. You know, since the ones that was invited to the party are not worthy, all right, since they want to make excuse, all right, to not come to the, uh, the, the, the marriage ceremony, all right, go talk to the other people, man. Go to the lame, the deaf, the blind, all right, the dumb, you know. And I was talking about us at one point in time, man. All right, but because what? We are, we are spiritually maimed. We are spiritually, you know, deaf. We are spiritually injured, man. Okay, we were at one point in time, man. We still are, all right? We're sick, you know? And that's why we need a physician, all right? And the scriptures say what? Them that are not sick, all right, need not a physician, you know? Because you got a lot of jakes, all right? Especially the ones who know that the Israelites, all right? They, they think that just because, you know, they're getting all the gain and the goods on this side, that they're all right, man. Here it is, you just had Tazari out on a damn interview with no jumper, man. What the hell is up with that? You know, and there's many, there's many more of those, those little shows and podcasts that, you know, these guys who call themselves Israelites jump on, man. But the Lord, didn't, the Lord told us to not have communion with this world. All right. We're not supposed to have communion with this world, man. But it's a good thing. I'll say this. It's a good thing that he's up out there. All right. Pushing Israel, even though it's not all the way to true. Okay. But it's a good thing that he's out there pushing Israel because what? That's going to wake the rest of the elect up. That's going to help wake the rest of the elect up and come into the wisdom, knowledge, and the understanding. All right? So it is It is a good thing that he's out there, you know, on a No Jumper podcast and so on and so forth. All right? Because what? We, we need the elect to wake up so we can get out of Dodge, man, so we can get out of Babylon, which is spirit, which is America. All right? We want to get up out of here, man. All right? So all you Jakes out there, you all you Israelites, you know, Who's going out to these podcasts and, you know, you're going out to these big, you know, uh, 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 events, all right? Trying to get in good with these well-known people. Yeah, you're you doing your job, all right? But you're doing your job uh, 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 wickedly, man. You're doing your job deceitfully, you know? But the point is, you're getting Israel more and more known, all right? We're going back to the scripture, Matthew 22 and 9. It says, go ye therefore... And to the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found, both bad and good. And the wedding was furnished with guests. Okay, so now the marriage ceremony, okay? The marriage ceremony is, is, is what? It's, uh, it's being filled up, all right? The halls is being filled up with people, man, okay? It says what? Verse 11, Matthew 22 and 11. And when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. And he said, and he said unto him, Friend, how camest thou in hither, having not a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then the king then said the king to the servants, Bind him hand and foot, and take him away, and cast him into outer darkness, and there shall be weak and weak. So like you're weeping and gnashing of teeth, okay? And the garments represents the truth, man, all right? You can't fully and wholeheartedly come into the spirit all right, of, of Yahweh Hashem and Yahweh Shai and not have the understanding of the scriptures, all right? Because that's what the garment, that's what the, the wedding garment represents, that spirit of truth, well, what, which I was telling that Jake that the, the world cannot receive it, man, all right? The whole, not even all of Israel is gonna get the spirit of truth, man, that Rechach Wadash, the Holy Spirit. Okay, that's what I was trying to tell that, that drunk Jake when he came up here, all right? What is immaculate speech? All right, but he's a drunkard, man. You can tell he reads a lot of books, 
All right, but going back to the point, all right, the, the, the Lord said what? You know, you if you don't have your garments on, you're going to get cast out into outer darkness, man. So what? If you don't have this truth, all right, by the time that the ceremony all right, is, is, is prepared and things of that nature, you're going to get you're gonna get thrown out into outer darkness, man. All right, you're going to get destroyed. All right, and that marriage ceremony is talking about when Yahweh Shai comes back, all right, and, and delivers the elect, the 144,000 and the one-third. Okay, so in the time of who the world called Jesus Christ's visitation, we have to have our spiritual garments on, man. Right? All right, as a matter of fact, let me get this real quick. All right, because this truth is important, man. And once again, not everybody can, can receive it. That's why a lot of people are about to bug out. You see the times we're moving into, all right? A digital, uh, a age of digital currency, you know, these banks taking people's money. All right, these mass uh, shootings going on. Look what look at what happened in Maine, bro. All right, it's getting more and more violent out here, and a lot of people is not going to be able to understand why. But once, but this is why the prophets are out. This is why we need to be, you know, teaching the truth. Okay, but um, let me get this real quick. Like you just bear with me. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 16, verse 15. It says, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. Okay, so that individual in the book of Matthew, the 22nd chapter, that didn't have his garments, which once again represents the truth, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right, of the Heavenly Father and the Son's glory. Okay, he's going to be found not watching, man, not watching for the prophecies, man. Okay, not watching for the prophecies. Okay, not watching for Yahweh Shah's coming. All right. And what, he's going to get cut asunder, man. The Lord is going to uh, uh, give him his portion with the world. What's the portion of the world is destruction. The rest of the world represents destruction, man. Okay. And that's what's going to ha ultimately happen to the wicked of our people, starting with y'all. Because y'all know the truth, you know? Especially you Israelites who know that you're Israelites, man. You, you, know, you know the names of the Heavenly Father and the Son, all right? You know what you're supposed to be doing, okay? But you want to be in communion with the world, man, all right? The Lord said that the world hates us. If the world loved it, all right, the world will love its own. If we was of the world, then the world will love its own, man. But the world does not love, all right, this truth. And this is why when it comes out, the people start getting so bitter. They start sucking their teeth or gnashing their teeth, all right? They throw tantrums because they get cut by the word, okay? We give you correction. We give you, we give you uh, admonishment, all right, by way, of the Holy Spirit, uh, by way of the Holy Spirit, by reason of righteousness. And you don't want to receive it? Come on, man. Oh, I just want to be a good person, and yada, yada, yada. Hey, being a good person comes from the scriptures first and foremost. All right? <laughs> Yosemite? <laughs> all right? Because what? Everything has a foundation, man. You want to be a quote-unquote good person, all right? There's, there's, a, there's a certain foundation. There's a certain conduct that you have to follow, all right? Especially for you Israelites who know that you're Israelites, man. Okay? Especially for y'all. There's a certain conduct. All right, a, a code of conduct that we have to follow according to this faith, man. And it starts with having faith. You know. We're going back to the book of Matthew. Well, actually, Revelation, I'll read it again. All right, because that's important, man. All right, we got to keep these garments, man. All right, not just the physical garments, okay? The long garments with the borders of blue and fringes. All right, but the spiritual garments, man. That's ultimately what it's talking about. We have to be cloaked in light. We have to be enveloped in light, man. All right? The light of the Heavenly Father and the Son that we didn't know about for the longest time. We grew up Christian Catholics, all right? We grew up in all these other, you know, uh, doctrines and religions, okay? But it was either taught the wrong way or it was the wrong religion, man. You know?